Chapter 7 Soils of India Let's learn Types of Soils Soil Erosion Prevention of Soil Erosion Soil is one of Earth's most precious resources. The uppermost nutrient-rich layer of Earth on which plants grow is called soil. It is a very useful natural wealth and is formed through a natural process. We cannot grow paddy, jute and wheat without soil as they get their nutrients from soil. Besides this, soil is used to build houses, roads and to make pots. Different kinds of mineral wealth are also obtained by digging the soil. Soil provides the support and nourishment that plants need in order to grow. In turn, plants provide food for people and animals. Different types of soil and their thickness vary from place to place. Formation of soil The formation of soil takes over hundreds of years. Some factors which facilitate soil formation are Rain When rain water flows downwards over rocky surfaces and brings small rocks and minerals along with it, these settle down in the plains and river beds. This process of wear and tear of rock is known as erosion. Info Hive Biota is the vegetation that covers the soil, the animals that live upon the soil and the microorganisms that inhabit the soil. Climate Heat, cold, moisture, rain, etc. lead to the weathering of rocks and hence formation of soil. This breaking down of rocks due to variation in temperature, wind, water, etc. is known as weathering. Plants Roots of plants and trees also cause breaking down of hard rock into fine pebbles. These undergo further erosion which leads to the formation of soil. This may take several hundred years. This proportionate annual distribution of rainfall in the country and excessive heat contribute special characters to the soils of the country. Almost all the food you eat, fiber for the clothes you wear and lumber Wood for the house are produced by soil. Six different types of soils are mainly found in India. These include alluvial soil, black soil, red soil, laterite soil, mountain soil and desert soil. Info high. Natural processes can take more than 500 years to form 2 cm of topsoil. Alluvial soil Alluvial soil is mainly found in the plains of northern India. It is formed by deposits along river banks. It is very fertile and contributes the largest share of agricultural wealth. The soil is stored in the river valley or lowlands of the plateau. Many rivers originate from the Himalaya mountains. They bring a large amount of sediment with them. It is deposited in the river valleys and the flood plains. It is one of the most abundant soils in the Indian subcontinent. Alluvial soil is found in the delta region of the rivers such as the Ganges, the Godavari and the Kaveri. It is found in Uttar Pradesh, Haryana, Bihar, West Bengal and Andhra Pradesh. Info Hive Khadar, New Alluvial and Bhangar, Old Alluvial are two different types of alluvial soil. Black Soil This soil is formed by the discharges of volcanoes. 
It is also called black cotton soil as cotton is the most important crop grown in this soil. Black soil is known for its capacity to hold moisture and is rich in magnesium and iron. It is found in peninsular India, particularly in the states of Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh and Gujarat. It is good for growing crops like cotton, sugarcane, groundnut, millet, wheat and oil seed. Brain Tickler Why do plants need soil to grow and survive? In four hive, one cup of soil may hold as many bacteria as there are people on earth. That's over six billion. Red soil. Red soil is formed due to weathering of old crystalline rocks in the areas of low rainfall. It is slightly acidic and does not retain moisture. Due to diffusion of iron, it appears reddish in color. The soil is less fertile. It is found in Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Odisha and Jharkhand. It is good for growing crops like ragi, sugar cane, groundnut, millet, rice, wheat and tobacco. Brain Tickler Name the type of soil found in the area where you live. Let write soil. Let right soil is found in areas with high temperature and heavy rainfall. It is formed due to intense leaching of soil due to heavy rains. This soil has very low nutrient content and also low contents of organic humus as most of these areas get drained due to heavy rains. It is sterile and not fit for growing traditional crops, grains, oil seed, pulses, etc. This soil can be found in the mountainous regions of Orissa, Karnataka, Kerala and Assam. Laterite soil is good for growing crops like tea, coffee, rubber, cashew and coconut. Dried laterite soil is used to make bricks. Info Hive Excessive cultivation reduces soil fertility. Mountain Soil This soil is created by the decomposition of dry leaves and organic matter. It is found on hill slopes. It is very fertile as it is rich in humus. This soil can be found in the mountainous regions of Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Sikkim and Jammu and Kashmir. It is good for growing crops like tea, coffee, spices and tropical fruits. Desert Soil Sandy Soil Arid Soil This soil has sand as its main constituent. There is no organic material in this soil and thus it is not fertile. This soil cannot be used for agricultural purposes as it lacks moisture. It is found in the north west in India. This soil is seen in the dry regions of India like parts of Rajasthan, Punjab and Haryana. It is good for growing drought resistant crops like millet and barley. When water is made available through irrigation, the desert soil can produce a variety of crops such as wheat, millet, barley, maize, pulses, 
cotton, etc. Info Hive The most fertile soil is found in the northern plains of India. Soil Erosion The upper layer of soil is called top soil. It contains minerals essential for growth of plants. Sometimes the top soil is carried away by wind or water. This is called soil erosion. Soil erosion is also caused by cutting down of trees, deforestation and overgrazing as roots of plants hold the soil and prevent it from being blown or swept away by wind and water. Soil erosion makes the soil unfit for cultivation. This causes desertification and landslides. A green cover is the best way to conserve top soil. Info high. A teaspoon of forest soil may hold more than 10 miles of fungi. Prevention of soil erosion. Some steps must be taken to prevent soil erosion. They are to prevent soil degradation. Farmers should use organic fertilizers such as cow dung and compost instead of chemical fertilizers. Avoiding cutting down of trees. Avoiding overgrazing. Increasing forest cover, restriction on mining and urban construction. Info Hive The care and cultivation of forest, trees or forestry is called silviculture. Recap Uppermost layer of earth on which plants grow is called soil. The rocks break down due to variations in temperature, wind and water. This process is called weathering. Alluvial, black, red, laterite, mountain and desert are six types of soils found in India. Dried laterite soil is used to make bricks. Sometimes the top soil is carried away by wind or water. This is called soil erosion. Values for life. The next time you throw polythene bags around or ignore the keep of the grass, sign in a park, think again. You are damaging the soil that feeds you.